Definitely a mixed up family and it's coming soon to TTT. I hope that you guys are ready for it because it's actually launching tomorrow night on IMAX, at IMAX in a fantastic red carpet gala affair. Mixed up, the brand new series courtesy film TT, TTT and of course all of our partners that have joined us in this uh, initiative. Ladies and gentlemen, this morning I have with me joining on set. We've had so far the director, we had the showrunner, we had wardrobe, we had some of the actors, and this morning we have two more actors. And I would say they're probably the most important people in the whole show because the whole show is based around their relationship. Uh, <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, say good morning to Kashala Mahabir. She's an actress, a.k.a. wife, a.k.a. mother on set. Mm -hmm. And Kevon Brooks, actor, a.k.a. husband, a.k.a. daddy, a.k.a. troublemaker. Good morning. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah good, good morning. morning. Good morning. How are you doing? How are you doing? <laughs> I'm all right. How are you guys doing? Great. Good, good. Up very early, but good. I yeah. appreciate you being here this early early morning. I appreciate you having us. Kashala, how was your experience on Mixed Up? Ah, oh, it was incredible. Um... It was an amazing cast, an amazing crew. It was just talent everywhere. Mm -hmm. A lot of people being supportive and willing and people put the work out. So. I mean, I feel like everybody that come here talk about how great the cast was and how great the crew was. It was really just kumbaya for the whole time. <laughs> it, it was definitely. Um, nobody in follows it, nobody in the no. back and ourselves. No, no, I think season two, they actually write in that in. <laughs> um, but no, it was, it, it, it was a, a, like my wife said, I mean, sorry, like Keshala said. Um, I it find all these blurry lines, because when Penny comes, she and Patty and Bruce blurry lines between when is the actor and when, when is the character. Yeah. But go ahead. No, it was a fantastic experience, and um, I think camaraderie mm -hmm. is too short of a word to talk about yeah. what we what was built mm -hmm. b between the even the crew. How, how long did you spend building that camaraderie? Um... Between the rehearsals and actually shooting, I would say just a couple of months. Yeah, about two months. You know, yeah. um, and it was from usually, jump. From jump, everybody was cool. Everybody yes, because was... what happened is people usually laugh at me from jump, <laughs> and then I just open the floor for us to laugh at everybody else. Yeah, <laughs> so it, was, it, was... it was wonderful. <laughs> yes, Kevin. <laughs> 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 yes, Kevin, you definitely do. Now, one of the things that Film TT has been very proud of saying over and over is that, you know, we've been able to create such, so many job opportunities. Mm -hmm. yeah. Would you agree with that? Definitely. I thought it would just be us on set mm -hmm. and there were like 30 other people. Where did that come from? Yeah, but these people are doing what? <laughs> they were like but cameraman and sound and light and mics and it was just like a, it was a full house mm -hmm. all the time was this was this your first time doing such a so this level of, of production? yes definitely my first time i i mean i did a couple plays before mm -hmm. and theater is really where i started and fell in love with acting so this is like huge for me yeah and was it daunting at any point Definitely. I mean, during the rehearsal space, I mean, my goal was to make sure that um, I was able to deliver on the character that Richard had envisioned. Yeah. So it was definitely daunting being in the presence of people like Patty and Penny and Kevon and Saran and Bridget, all of them, Jala, and even the little one. Oh, she's so talented. Kristen, yeah. So Kristen was here the other day for her birthday, ironically. I know, right? <laughs> and they're very talented. So for me to create a presence in front of these huge, magnificent veterans, it was a little bit challenging for me but they were always supportive and encouraging Kevin tell me about working with Richard um brilliant mind mm. this is my first time uh, actually having a chance to work with him yeah um and uh, you've seen him on stage before when you get the opportunity to work with the stalwarts it's like whoa it was me <laughs> yes. you know what I mean and on and, set and his style in, in terms of in terms of giving notes directing although we had a director because he wrote yeah you know he still had a hand in and so that those intimate moments of, of, of sharing thoughts and, and sharing ideas back and forth between him, because it wasn't it, it, it definitely was a democracy. Mm -hmm. We got a chance to, you know, talk about what we felt and how we felt the characters should should be fleshed out and mm -hmm. that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. And so it was a wonderful experience and so which camera mine, Richard, and I mean again. <laughs> so yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. No, I mean, you guys have been, you guys have acted together before in Better Than We Were. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. definitely. And that was going on at the same time. There was one that was running at the same time. We had a production going How on, did you yes. manage doing that? I mean, as, as actors, as creative people, <laughs> I imagine if you're doing a script in one character, mm -hmm. it would be a little bit difficult to switch to a whole other character to do a play. Right. How yeah. was the juggling of that? Um, well, for me, Mixed Up was um, the majority of my time because we, um, better than we, we actually planned rehearsals 
based on our schedule. Ah. So they were very supportive. Okay. And um, I had a very small role, but I was doing more ASM work. And so it was, in terms of the time, it was very difficult because we had rehearsals every day between both of them. Yeah. And I also have a job and a husband and two pugs. So, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> it was tough, but it never felt like work because I actually enjoy everything we did with mixed up all the rehearsals, learning the character, being on set with everybody. Mm -hmm. and, and same thing on the theatre side. I, I am so entertained, even if I'm online, just looking at the talent, just looking at them, like rehearsing is fun for me. Yeah. So I enjoy it all the time. And Kevin, what about you? Um, I've, I've come to the realization and understanding that actors, creatives are my people and we are. Oh, for sure. Definitely. Um, and I think if we are tested, they will find maybe new strains of, of, of crazy, crazy <laughs> and, yeah. and uncertainty. But uh, juggling the two scripts, um, Funny enough, people may not believe there are techniques that we can use mm -hmm. in terms of when you do your character work and character development and that kind of thing. Um, I feel that though there's that as though there's always a piece of us in every character we play, and, mm -hmm. I, and and once you get comfortable with that, that helps in terms of doing the transition between the two. So it was, it was pretty much um, it was fairly easy, I would say. Keshala, when people look at mixed up, what do you hope that they get out of it? <sighs> <laughs> Kevin is very interested in this answer. <laughs> well, mixed up is a whole experience. I mean, um, when I look at TV shows, I like to feel. Right. And it is a sitcom, but there's so much feeling involved in looking at what's going on. The story behind it is back and all, yes. So you're going to laugh, you're going to feel sad, you're going to be angry. And I think what I want for people is to, as we all do, identify with a character, fall in love with them, um, follow them, look forward to seeing them on, on TV and, and really... Um, it's about having a conversation as well, because as Kevin and everybody would say, we touched on some major points, which is like racism and religious um, battles. And, you know, it's just it, it was just a civil way in dealing with things. And I think I think this is the time for it. Yeah. Did you did you feel as though it was able to be a direct reflection of of things that you've witnessed or experienced in life? I mean, yeah, definitely. definitely. I've seen it. And I mean, it's so real. And I think people need to see more real content. Mm. And I think what we're going to put out, I mean, I have not been able to recognize the significance of how huge it is until all of this, yeah. I would say. And um, I really wanted to hit home for a lot of people and open up the minds to thinking about others and being more compassionate on all these things. Before we go to break, Kevin, just tell me quickly, you said that you, you felt very connected to some of the experiences that you're yeah, dealing with. Yeah, definitely. Like, um, having a mother-in-law and having to deal with a mother-in-law. Guys, check out his show. Because, <laughs> I mean, when we talk about real, especially for mother-in-laws, that... Do Thank you very much, Kevin. birthday. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Keshala Mahibi, who celebrates her birthday on Friday. Happy birthday in yeah. advance. And Kevin Brooks joining us on set to chat a little bit about Mixed Up. It's coming soon to TTT, all courtesy the Children of Tobago Film Company Limited, also in collaboration with TTT and Export TT. It's coming soon, so stick around. You're going to find out a little bit more about it. We take a quick break and come back with your birthday celebrations. Happy birthday in advance, Keshala. That's my family,